What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. I am here. I'm, I'm by myself, which is a very rare occurrence nowadays. I'm at uh, Target. Not much of a surprise, but I'm going to be doing some Christmas shopping because it's what, we're two and a half, maybe three weeks from Christmas. So I'm needing to get some stuff done. And Eva is at home with Matt's mom. She's at home with grandma. And I thought that today I've been wanting to do a sit down you know video with Matt and and Eva about where we're living because a lot of you guys have noticed we're not in the trailer anymore and I've commented back to the people that have asked about it but it seems to be such a I guess a common question that I figured we just threw up a video so <clears throat> um, Matt is he's at work and then this afternoon he's gonna be working on uh, the foundation with his dad the house foundation we are still working on that we're getting some footage of what they've been doing this week actually the last couple weeks not I mean we'll save it for that next video but we definitely are way way behind we were hoping to have it done by the summer but it's just you know you never know what's gonna happen so uh, it's still in the works it's just very 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 slow very so with that said, because we're not in a house yet, we've actually moved in with Matt's parents. So the room that we're in that you guys see us in is, is a room, I think it used to be a garage in their house. They've been in this house since Matt was born, I think, since he was born. So he's lived in this, this one house his whole life, which is pretty cool. And it's pretty cool that Eva is going to be able to you know, I mean, she's, she's growing up there. It's crazy, but it used to be a garage. Then they converted it into, I think it was Matt's room. And then they've done quite a few upgrades to it since then, but it's now basically our little apartment. Um, there's a bathroom, you know, we don't, we use the common kitchen. We use their kitchen and you can see it's a pretty big space. And so the reason why we're there is because Eva was getting so bored and so tired of the RV and not just her, but I was going stir crazy. We're not traveling. It's going to be a little while before we can do anything with the RV just because of Matt's work, the house, the holidays, and then Eva. Um, packing up and moving the RV around was time consuming enough. Any of you RVers know it takes a good deal of work to pack everything up, to travel where you're going, you know, pick, figure out where you're going. First of all, get to where you're going and then unpack and, you know, level out. And then, well, I guess you level out first and then you unpack and all of that stuff. So it's, it's a full day occasion. Adding a baby, a newborn on top of that. I mean, we're looking at if we wanted to go to like a, a state park that's less than an hour from here. It would take us a full day to pack her stuff, get the RV all packed up, drive. Oh, it just, it's just not something that I have been wanting to, to do yet. Um, and then throw in everything that I've been having to go through with this postpartum period and dealing with postpartum depression. It was just not, it's, it's just not been something that I'm ready for that we're ready for. So trailer's still there. We still have it. We've just moved the majority of our stuff over. And the benefit of that, not only is there more space, we have more room for, to play with Eva. There's more toys. Um, Matt's parents, Matt's, Matt's parents are able to watch her quite often. You know, if they're, they're home and I'm home and I need to go take a shower, she hangs out with them while I can go take a shower. And that's absolutely amazing. And then being with the dogs again because the dogs have been with them next door since we had Eva because there's not enough space in the RV. We have a little 25 foot trailer and I think we've had a couple questions about upgrading the trailer since we got Eva. The idea of getting a fifth wheel is really nice but one our truck is not we don't have the capability right now to uh, haul a fifth wheel. We'd need a bigger truck and since we got since I got in a wreck and we had to get this truck pretty quickly it just wasn't something that we that we were um, wanting to look into yet we're still working on we're still paying for the trailer and I also don't want to have to go through buying another trailer while we're building a house and raising a baby so 
there's, <coughs> I'm, I'm dealing with a little bit of allergies too. There's quite a bit that goes into play and that's why we're not upgrading the trailer at this time. Um, in the future, it'd be nice. Definitely. It's something on our radar. Probably look into selling our little, it's a, like I said, 25 foot trailer and upgrading in the future. I don't know if it'd be a longer trailer or, you know, we would, if we did a fifth wheel, we'd have to get a new truck and the fifth wheel. So that's a whole thing, but we definitely do want to take it out and take Eva with us, but she's so little now. It's not, there's not really any benefit to it for her besides us just getting out more. Now, if we were, my voice gets a little scratchy. Now, if we were traveling more and Matt was able to work remote at this time, which he's not, um, I don't think that we would, me and Eva would be a lot less stir crazy, <laughs> but she, so spending all day, every day in the RV and up until the last, I say last month, it's still been in the hundreds. I mean, it's 81 degrees today on December 8th, December 9th, maybe it's still 81 degrees. And so, and there are still mosquitoes out. We've seen mosquitoes this week. So getting outside and being outside wasn't much of an option. We would go for walks, but just a few minutes at a time before Eva would get too sweaty. And so just being in the trailer all day, every day with the same few toys, there's not even, you know, we don't have enough space for like a little walker. There's not enough space for like a little jumper, which we do have at Matt's parents' house now. So it got to where I was just going over there every day and I was hauling all of our stuff over there next door and going back and forth. And whenever we <clears throat> house sat for them, I think in October, the end of October, we really enjoyed the extra space and being at home all day with Eva, it definitely helped me to have more space. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. It helped me to have more space to spread out with her and she's not bored with the same one or two toys or books all the time now. So being there has been very awesome. It's been wonderful. So we are there. Um, I know that, I know that the channel's changed. I get it. I know. And there's nothing we can do about it. You know, what, what we're doing and what we've always done is document, document our life and adventures, whether they're out and about or not. And so, um, I know that a couple of you have, have reached out. They've either commented or messaged and said, you know, we, we can't really watch the channel cause y'all aren't really, y'all aren't really doing anything. And I get that. I, I completely get it. If you guys want to stop watching, that's fine. But, um, I, I've already enjoyed looking back at the few videos that we've put up because I'm seeing Eva grow. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm still putting out videos is I want to look back and have these memories. Like in a couple years, we're going to be able to look back and see our first Christmas with Eva. And that's amazing. And I do know that, um, a few of you guys that do watch Vlogmas, y'all really enjoy it. And y'all have enjoyed seeing Eva and seeing the updates. Cause whenever we weren't, po weren't posting, I was getting quite a few messages of everybody checking in and making sure everything's okay. And you know, we're doing good and we're doing really good. It's just, we're staying busy as y'all know. I've got my hands full. Um, Eva is, she's wanting to crawl. She hasn't quite gotten it yet. She wants to stand all the time and jump. So we have like this little bouncer thing that she likes and she likes whenever you hold her in your lap and she just jumps and jumps and um, she's sitting up. We started her on solid foods last week and she's just growing up so fast and it's absolutely incredible. So we're trying to enjoy every single second of it, but we're also <clears throat> enjoying documenting it and having some of you guys along with us. It's been really, really cool. And for you guys that have been with us since we got the trailer, since before we got the trailer, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to all of the love and the support and, and the new friendships that we've made. You guys are just absolutely awesome. And it's been neat connecting with all of y'all over the years, hearing about your travels, um, because whenever we're not traveling, it makes me happy to see other people out and about and doing the whole RV the RV life. Um, Matt just called me. He's at work. And anyway, so yeah, it's just been, it's been amazing to have you guys along for the ride through 
thick and thin and all season is because I know that we, we had so many plans to travel and do all this stuff and we did don't get me wrong last year we went to Colorado and took the RV and that was the that was I can't say the most amazing thing because having Eva was the most amazing thing but that was one of the most amazing things that I have ever done in my life and I just I loved every single second of it and yeah I, I still like to go back and I'll watch some of the videos and like, man that was so much fun so I would love to be able to do that again and be able to do that with Eva in the future god that's just so awesome and you know because I grew up um we we traveled a little bit as a family but I'm one of four kids and so it's harder to take trips my parents worked really hard to have you know a good life for us and um so it was a lot harder for us to actually take vacations. We went on trips for um, sports and things like that. Even then, those were some of my favorite memories were traveling as a family. And I know that Matt grew up going to like Disney World and stuff. And I mean, not, not that they went all the time, but he went a couple times. And those are, you know, traveling with his family was some of the best memories. And so I just can't wait to make those memories with Eva, whether it's in the RV or not, just going places and taking her out to see the world and doing things and you know getting messy and going on adventures and things like that so I'm just really excited for her to keep growing and show her all of the things like even Christmas I'm like look at the lights and <laughs> showing her Christmas lights and having her tear apart some Christmas paper on uh, Christmas Day is gonna be amazing so <coughs> I'm sorry I said these allergies have got my throat all scratchy but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on where we're living and why why y'all are seeing a completely different environment. We didn't even mention it because we had moved in there. We moved all of our most of our stuff um, when we were, I guess, on another break. Whenever I wasn't uploading anything for about a month, so we came back and we're just like Vlogmas and didn't tell y'all, hey, we're not in the RV right now, but it's still there. It's still ours and. Um, I don't know when, I don't know when the house is going to be done. We'll do another, uh, we'll do a, a full update. Um, I think Matt said he wants to sit down and film it tonight talking about the house. Um, uh, but the RV, we're going to park it next to it. Um, of course we're going to have to set it all up. We're not winter winterizing it right now because we'll still, um, Matt goes in, he'll drip the faucets if it does freeze. It doesn't really freeze here, so we don't have to worry about it that much. But we turn the tank heaters on and all that stuff. So we don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, but whenever we do have the house done, then we'll probably start having to do that. And put it more in storage mode. But that's it. <coughs> um, if you guys have questions, then let me know. And one thing I want to hear from you guys is if you've been following us along since... I guess the beginning let me know in the comments and uh because I want to talk to you guys you guys are I've, I've been reading the comments on all the vlogmas videos and trying to like them and respond here and there um, but whenever we're doing videos every day it's really hard to it even with Eva it's hard to to sit down and you know focus on comments right now but for this video I want to talk to you guys that have been with us since the beginning because it's just so cool to have <clears throat> you guys you know see all of these changes and and basically y'all are going through all of this with us and it's just so cool anyway i'm gonna go get another drink because i'm out of water and then get some christmas presents get some coffee and we will see y'all in tomorrow's vlogmas video we just missed today that's it okay uh be merry out there <laughs> bye